I have well over 40 hours of footage covering about 80% of this website build. I want to share it with you here in this video, but real quick, let me tell you why I chose the tools that I did to build the website for First Supply Coffee. I used Webflow for the front end, Shopify for that side of things, and then this adapter software called Udesly to turn my code from Webflow into Liquid, to, to basically turn it into a Shopify theme. I went this route because one of you recommended Webflow, and I checked it out, I thought it was cool, and it just made me want to learn it. I decided on Shopify over WooCommerce for a reason I really don't remember. I, I just remember sitting down doing research on Shopify, WooCommerce, hell, even Squarespace and Wix and things like that, and I came to the conclusion that Shopify was what I wanted to do. If I had to guess, it's because Shopify is very plug and play, there's not really much involvement on my end. It does everything right out the box, like shipping labels, shipping estimates, automated emails. It has amazing analytics. If you know anything about me, I love looking at the numbers. Then I also mentioned that I did check out Webflow's e-commerce side of things, but they still have a lot to work out. If they do indeed do everything that they plan on doing, I think it's gonna be a pretty good option. Now that's why I built it the way I did. Now let me show you how. It started off when I made a video, uh, basically a mock-up drawing of the website, how I wanted it to look. Right up here next to the stylized text, you will have your navigation bar. So you have home, you have blank, you have goods, you have about us, you have contact. And then right here under the pink is going to be an image or two of the items, the products that are going to be sold. And of course, right over here is going to be the name of the product, a little bit more information about the product, and then a purchase button. So you can click on that go ahead and add it to cart and then check out right here I needed some separation between this and the uh, between this and the rest of the web page because I want this to be the focal point this is what you're coming here for everything else is just supplemental information and then down here is going to be a little bit more about the company who we are we're going to have join the join the what join the what you'll never know well I guess you'll know eventually and then a join now button and then your traditional footer now once I had those things figured out I hit the ground running made a webflow account and started to get to work I didn't watch any webflow videos any tutorials anything I just decided to hop on in and try it I got a little bit of work done in that first look of Webflow. I did a little bit off camera here in this period as we're talking right now. And then I decided to, hey, I, I need to be recording this. I think I just forgot. Once I had a better understanding of how I wanted it to look, I hopped on into Adobe Stock. I pulled out some images from there. For some reason, the Adobe Stock payment wasn't working. I wasn't able to get through to it. So I just decided to take off the previews. That's why you'll see like the Adobe, Adobe Stock logo on there and then I was just kind of fiddling with it to make it look how I wanted it to look.
Now, before I go any further, I should probably test to see if this website will convert into a Shopify theme. So I went ahead and started doing that, a little bit of testing phase. that Udesly was a little bit harder than I first anticipated. I thought it was going to take all the logic from Webflow and turn it into Liquid into a Shopify theme, but there's a little bit more, you know, attributes to add here, a little bit of formatting here and there that needed to be done. But before I dove into that, I decided to reevaluate some of my options. In no particular order, option one was to host my entire site on Hostinger and have a Shopify buy button that'll take you over to a Shopify store that is within Shopify. Another option would be to do the same exact thing, but instead of hosting it on Hostinger, hosting it on Webflow itself. Like I said, I looked into the e-commerce side of Webflow. It doesn't work for me as it sits. So I was just going to host it, do a buy button on that home page. That'll take you over to the Shopify page, which will be the product page where then you could check out and buy the coffee. However, the only problem with this is that I believe hosting was like $12 a month and I could only get 25,000 visitors per month. And I wasn't really looking for that. I don't want to have a limit on how many visitors I can have. I don't want to be paying $12 a month when hosting her. I bought four years, which is 48 months for less than a hundred bucks. And that came with free SSL and a free domain and a few other things. So I, that wasn't really much of an option, but the third option was to, okay, go through with this, figure it out, Make sure you get all the attributes and Udesi will properly convert your Webflow theme into a Shopify theme. Obviously that third option is what I really wanted to do. So I took the starter template that Udesi has to offer. That is a Webflow design. So I took that, I threw that in Udesi, it converted properly. I threw that over into Shopify. It displayed just as it did over in Webflow. All I did was prove Udesi actually worked. So I could then move forward with adding these attributes that Udesi needs to convert it from Webflow to Shopify within my Webflow design. Previously, I thought I was going to be just creating the homepage within Webflow, throwing that over into Shopify, and then using the Shopify tools to create my product page. But I figured if I'm going through all the trouble to convert it from Webflow into Shopify, I'll just create everything in Webflow. That way, it just it's just one simple process instead of having a little bit done over here and a little bit done over there, but it is all, all is hosted over here. So what I did is I decided to create the product page. product page is done and we're still using that stock imagery. I got the first batch of first supply coffee that y'all saw in the last video and I decided to take a few product photos. And on these product images, we did a little bit of Lightroom work and on one of them, a little bit of Photoshop work. first ever successful Udesly conversion for, for my design. That allowed us to give a first look into Shopify with the actual design to see how it deferred from the actual Webflow design. And from there, we can start adding more attributes, adjusting the attributes and doing more formatting so it looks exactly on Shopify as it does on Webflow. Things 
things were completely coming together. So what I did was I took that starter theme that I previously tested in Udesly, I threw that over into Webflow, and I used that as a base because there I can see all the attributes. I can see exactly how their homepage, their product page, their nav bar, everything is set up so I could basically use that as a base, as a template for my own design. So I took like the add to cart from there over into my own design. I adjusted all the attributes to fit appropriately for those that weren't 100% correct. I want to be able to take the descriptions from Shopify. So a lot of that went into the web flow design for the conversion to be successful and be able to do a lot of the editing on Shopify thereafter. Now towards the end, it was a bit of crunch time because I knew I wanted January 6, 2020 to be the launch date. It's a Monday, felt like it was a perfect timing. So finalized the website, made all of those final little adjustments and made it live along with last week's video. Speaking of which, y'all's reaction to all of this, the announcement of the coffee company and last week's video and the website itself, amazing. I couldn't be more grateful. And I had a lot of people, a lot of y'all, testing the website. I knew y'all were going to do that. I knew you are going to poke and prod at it. And I knew there are a few things that I may or may not have left in there for y'all to find. Not everything, but like the nav menu. I knew that the nav menu need a little bit of adjusting because whenever you go to the product page, the about us and the contact was still there. However, it wouldn't take you back to the homepage to the about us section. So what I did thanks to y'all's input, is I just removed that from the product page because the about us is on the product page. The contact is in the footer on all the pages, but I felt like it was a cleaner look to just take both of those out and only left home and coffee for every page other than the home page. And there are also a handful of other tweaks that I didn't realize were there that y'all let me know through email, through comments. And that is with Firefox. With Firefox, when you would go to the product page, the quantity, you weren't able to see that. It had to do with the padding within Webflow. For some reason, it wouldn't work properly on Firefox and the padding kind of put the number way off, not within the view of the quantity in which you're trying to add to cart. So I effectively just took off the padding there and that way it worked the same within Safari, within Chrome, within Firefox. And that's just one example of the handful that y'all helped me uh, identify. And that is how the website for First Supply Coffee was created. If y'all have any other questions, I know there's a few of y'all that are currently in the process of using Udesly, whether that is to convert Webflow over to Shopify like I did, or Webflow over to WooCommerce like you can. So if there's any more specific questions, just leave those down in the comment section below. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming to you here in January, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there.